Irish neckline stops there? Yeah, because the spank starts right there. <laughs> That's my strategy where the clothes end, the spanks begin. I mean, literally, if I took this jacket and these pants off, you would think I was going scuba diving. <laughs> It was crazy. Them old women, they was down there, and it was, I didn't know they were giving me compliments because they was calling me the younger version of old celebrities that I never knew were sexy. <laughs> like one lady came up to me and was like, ooh, young man, you look like a young Reginald Vale Johnson. That's Carl Winslow. When was he ever sexy? Gentlemen, I have some advice. Do you spoon your women late at night? Not all at once. Okay, perfect. All right. If you're spooning your lady late at night, this is where you want to hold her. Right underneath the boobs. It's where we feel the thinnest and the sexiest, okay? Hold this here. Go nowhere else. Because the second you go two inches south, you are in the danger zone, boys. This is where the fear and the shame live. Sometimes there's cheese in here. Menards is stupid. Do you agree with me? Is what I meant like, I don't get it. Thank you. I just... Lowe's makes sense. Home Depot. Very straightforward stores. Menards? Feels Canadian, right? It's just different in here. There's just something off. I don't get it. Like, they sell everything that you would expect at a hardware store. They, you can get plywood there. But you can also buy milk. What? Who's going to Menards to buy milk? Take out your credit or debit card. And you say to him or her, Oh, I have a chip card. I'm not sure how to use this. This is my first chip card. Do I, do I, do I slide it in? And this is what they say. You're going to get some action. They say, no, 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 no. no. Don't slide it in. Stick it up the bottom. Then you go, stick it up the bottom. Stick it all the way. Stick it all the way. You hear it click? Don't take it out. Don't take it out. Don't take it out. And the whole moves in Detroit, the guy is going to go, don't take it out. Don't take it out. But if you go out there, you Right? My dad has mood swings a lot. I think he's bipolar, but you know what? I'm not a doctor. All right? My next best guess is menopause, so I don't know. <laughs> He'll just flip out and go back to happy in seconds. I was in their basement watching TV one time, and he came down. He goes, looking good, buddy. Just got to get some out of the storage room here. And as he walked in, he tripped over a box my mom put in his way. <laughs> Yeah, put it this way, that's what he said. I think you just set it down. But according to him, it was in his goddamn way. He lost his mind. He was screaming at the top of his lungs, just kicking and smashing boxes, just ruining our Christmas ornaments. Slams the door, sees me, and he's like, 